and thank you for attending Ikaho Wi-Fi Site Survey installation procedure. In order to install this software properly, there are some pre-requirements that needs to be met. Uh, first and foremost, you need to have a laptop with Intel i5 or i7 processor, minimum of 4 gigabit of RAM and 500 gigabit of hard disk space. Internet connection for the installation procedure is essential. Uh, please ensure that there is no firewall interfering with the installation procedure. On uh, laptops, uh, firewall should be brought down. You also need to have the download link for the ECAHO Wi-Fi Site Survey application, which is mentioned as www.ecaho.com forward slash download forward slash ESS. Please ensure that you have the hardware dongle called NIC 300 from ECAHO and insert it into the device that you are going to install the application onto. And last but not least, the license key is required uh, for completion of the installation procedure. So let's go and see how we can install the software. Go to any web browser, select ICAHO, download ESS. In this page, select accept end user license agreement, proceed to download. Once download is completed, which is typically one or two minutes, you will see the download link, it's an executable file, ikaho site survey setup exe. Exit, execute this application, and the installation will start. Select the preferred language, press next, press the agreement, and install in the location. I have already pre-installed the software. However, I will install it again under Unisys 1. And the software will proceed to install. Meanwhile, the installation is proceeding. I would like to share with you that the NIC 300 also has to be configured or the dongle. And we will do that in the middle of the installation procedure. We will wait until the uh, bar is full and the software will ask for installation of the GPS driver, which we do not need. As you can see, uh, the second phase of the installation procedure is ready to commence. At this stage, we will try to install the driver. In order to do that, we go to the File Explorer, select the C drive, select Program Files, select ECAHO subdirectory, and you can see the directory that the software has been installed, ECAHO Site Survey Unisys 1. Select this directory, select the driver's subdirectory, and execute the installed USB driver application. Once this is completed, if you select the USB devices from the bar at the bottom of the windows, you should see USB NIC 300 as a device that has been connected and installed. This is an indication that the installation procedure has been successful. Close the window and continue with the installation of the application. Ensure that you skip GPS support for now as the surveys you will be conducting will be indoor. Once the installation is complete, make sure or ensure that the ECAHO site survey execution is checkmarked. Finish and the final window will appear. window will appear requesting activation of the license. Insert your license key, whichever license key that you have, 
this is a fake license key input your name organization and your email address at this stage ensure that you select ecoho nick 300 as the primary device that will be tied to the license that is marked here do not select any other adapter in this list if you do not see the nick 300 in the list that means your installation procedure has not been successful and the nick 300 is not recognized do not press the activation button unless you see the nick 300 in this list and select it once you have done that you select activate and that will complete your installation procedure this completes our short presentation on how to install ECAHO Wi-Fi Site Survey on a laptop.